What up, though? It's your boy DJ Star back with another unboxing, and I'm really, really excited for this unboxing. I've been wanting this shoe. I was trying to try to grab it last year, 2020, for retail. Of course, that didn't happen. Um, took an L like most everybody else is during the COVID era, but I've been watching it on StockX, and I was um, just waiting to bid on it and just see how it goes. The prices started to creep down a little bit, so I figured I'd pull the trigger, and um, hopefully I hit a success, and I did. So i get into that later, but first, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And please like, comment, and share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. And let your family and friends know, everybody know that there's another guy out here on YouTube doing this thing, unboxing and reviewing these shoes and doing on feats with his own unique flair and style for it. So, because I'm trying to really get to those 500 subscribers in 30 days. So. You would be a big help if you help you help your fam out. So with that being said, we're gonna get into the colorway of the shoe. As you can see, it's a standard orange Nike box, nothing special there. Um, orange with the white Nike on it, nothing really special about that. So let's get into the colorway. And if you can see that, the colorway reads that this is a Nike Dunk High SP, which is a special project. The colorway is Varsity Maze Midnight Navy, and it's a size 12. And as you can see, it's no US size tag in here, because I did get this off StockX and it came from the London Hub. And as you see over here, there's another sticker on the box. So anybody know what that sticker is, comment down below and let me know if that's a specific store or something. And um, in the UK or hell if it's a fake or something from the UK because I did get this off stock eggs and I'm not slamming them nothing but you know people make errors so you know you got any information about that sticker right there just comment down below I greatly appreciate it so opening up the box just real regular paper tissue paper nothing special there but I do see in that corner right over there if you can see that that is a quality control stamp so I am surprised to see that um, and we can go over that in the video part next so without further ado we got the Nike Dunk SP High Maze and Midnight Navy, which is the Michigan Wolverine. So if you've been watching this channel, you should know that I'm a huge Michigan fan. I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. I currently live in Ohio, but born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, grew up loving the Wolverines. And actually, the funny story is when I moved to Ohio, I became more of a Michigan State fan as well because it felt, I felt like anybody could be Ohio State. I'm all for it, so and I some hating hate my blood when it comes to that, but it is what it is. So the shoe retailed in the US um last year. I didn't get the date. I want to say last year in the fall or something for $120 US retail. Um the StockX resale prices is in and around the same. You'll probably make 60, 70 bucks over retail to sell them. So not a big profit margin. But this the funny part about these is that I've been watching the price, waiting for it to creep down. It creeped down a little bit. I went ahead and put a bid in for 200 The seller put a bid in. He raised the asking price. So I put a price in for 210 He raised it again to like 290 or something. And I'm like, you know what? I don't even want it. I just canceled my bid. I waited a couple days, came back, and then bid again, solid 200 and then some seller jumped on it. So again, these came from the StockX, the um, UK hub, and I got them here, and I'm very happy to see them. Um, we can go over the shoe now. I know I'm talking a little fast, but I am really excited to see these shoes. And um, just to fill them in hand, I actually own a pair because I've been wanting this shoe for the longest. So as you see, the outsole is your traditional dunk outsole, and it's done in that Midnight Navy. Or, you know, this pattern is really synonymous with the Air Jordan 1 because Peter Moore, who actually designed the Air Jordan 1, also designed these. Um, same time, released in 1985-86, um, and it was called Be True to Your School Colorways for a bunch of the universities Nike had contracts with back in that time. So, Michigan it was one of them, and this is the Michigan colorway. You get to your midsole, and that's where you see one of the biggest differences when it comes to Air Jordan 1s and Dunks is the midsole. It is done in a nice all-white fly line, as you can see, but you got these raised edges here and here, when your Air Jordan 1 is mostly flat from back here to back here. So, you know, your... Um, tip of your um, outsole on the Air Jordan 1 has stars on it. This do too if you can see them, but it's kind of like they're not as pronounced or as, as, as protruding as on the Air Jordan 1, but it's still a nice touch. And then you go up to the top part where the leather is, man, and I'm really impressed. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description, of course, for my other dunk video I did a few months ago. Um, the Fast Gray Dunk High. Um, and it's a change. It's like a night and day change for as far as the material. Now, as they both leather, but the other one felt more synthetic. This actually feels like real leather, and it's really soft. 
Um, if you look at the toe box, which is done in all maze, you can see right there how I'm pushing it and it's just kind of bouncing back. But if you look at that toe, how you get that minimum crease and they come right back, it lets you know the leather is really soft. So this leather is really good. So you got navy blue, midnight navy or all in the overlays. The mid panel right here is done in that varsity. The eye stays is done in that navy. And then you get back here and it's, uh, you know, the ankle collar is done in that varsity maze and right here with your Nike swoosh done in that midnight navy. And it is so clean. Um, they gave you traditional, um, navy blue laces over a nylon tongue, which is, um, also, um, varsity maze. And the tongue strap is, you see, notice it don't have a Nike air on it, just say Nike, because there is no encapsulated air sole in this heel. There is no air in the, in the um, <clears throat> Nike Dunks. That was only in the Air Jordan 1. So you just got your standard Nike tag, and behind the tag, you will see that it's done also in uh, varsity maze with that um, navy blue um, stitching. You look at the side and the panels. Oh, I'm sorry. I almost forgot. Let's go to the other side of the shoe. You get to the lateral side of the shoe, you got more of the same. Really soft leather on here. Really pliable. It don't have that tumble effect or anything on it, but it's just really nice and soft. So I'm pretty sure this shoe is hella comfortable. Can't wait to put it on. What I also thought was neat, because I don't own any dunks for myself, and I don't remember what the other one had, but this strap kind of Lays, if you can see that, it opens up kind of like your off white. So I thought that was a dope touch. I'm not sure if all dunks do that. Comment in the um, comment section, let me know that all your dunks, if you got dunk highs, they do that as well, or are they stitched on here? Because I just always assumed that it was stitched on here. And I believe the last pair I did was stitched. I could be wrong, but I don't remember. So check that out. Link will be in the description below. You go to the inside of the shoe, and you'll see down in there, if you can see that, the Nike um, stamp is done in that uh, varsity maze as well with a blue insole. And your pattern looks pretty thick around here, so it looks like it's pretty comfortable around here. So we have to see how that go, but it's like protruding out. And it's done really nice and soft. I mean, it's nothing special about the inside. It's not done in silk or satin or anything. It's just your traditional ins insole, but it's like really soft. So I'm really excited to see how what this how does you feel on feet? I'm a huge, huge Michigan fan, born and raised, like I said before in the video, and I can't wait to see what it do. Also, I did, it did come with a pair of spare laces, two pairs actually, so I got a, a gold one and a white one, and you got your traditional, you know, navy blue one in here. I'm probably gonna throw in these yellow ones though. I was thinking about it, but when I opened it up, and I didn't see the other shoe, I'm like, damn, I might have to get some gold laces for this, but I usually try to stay away from gold, especially if the tongue, like on my Air Jordan 1s, whatever color the tongue is, I always try to go opposite that, but I think over the eye stays that, um, that yellow um, shoelace will look really dope. And then the sizing to get shoelaces for Jordan 1s and Dunks is probably kind of difficult because, you know, it's a higher shoe, so you got to have um, the right size shoelace for it. I think Jordan's is nine, so how many is these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's the same as the Air Jordan 1 as far as... Um, how many ice stays you got, or not ice stays in particular, but how many holes you got for your um, laces. So it's about the same. So that's really about it. Um, the shoe is just beautiful in my opinion. I'm a big fan of this colorway, this color block, and I really wanted this shoe. And paying 200, I ended up paying um, $234. So 200 for the shoe, which was already USD here was 120. So probably about what 130 in tax, about ten dollars in tax, so 130. So I'm paying 70 dollars over. The, the retail of the shoe and then you know the, everything else was 30 bucks after that for the taxing the shipping and the processing fee so not a bad cop in my opinion um like i said i'm a really really big fan of the university of michigan so this will go swell with all my michigan gear that i have and um, i'm just excited for it man also real fast i'm gonna give want to give a quick comparison no that's the same shoe let's do this side i want to give a quick comparison on this outsole game so if you look here i also have which I was wearing not too, too recently. I think I did a on feet of these. Is my Air Jordan One Midnight Navy um, CLJP, and as you can see, the traction is pretty much the same. But you will see how those stars on the on the Air Jordan One is really, really more more defined than these. This is like wore down, and then it's like the grooves are a little different. If you see here, this is like really carved out, and this is kind of pushed together. You still got your traditional Nike, but Jordan seems to be a little bit wider, a little bit different shape in the middle. Remember, there's no air in the heel. So in the heel part, as you can see, it's way more protruded here, just way more defined on the Air Jordan 1 than it is on the Dunk. So, But I'm not about to get on the court or anything with these, so I just wanted to show you all that. And it looked like the Air Jordan 1, um, even midsole, they both are phylon, but it seems like this midsole 
is textured differently. If you can see the texture or the pattern of texture on there, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera then compared to these. So it's, it's some minor differences. But like I said, Peter Moore designed the shoe, <clears throat> both of them. So he took what he already had designed with the Air Jordan 1 and kind of just changed it up a little bit. Mainly just the overlays and the swoosh is more defined. And you can see on the toe box right here, you can see that... Uh, the, the pattern is a little different. This one, it seems like it's a tad bit different on the toe box. Not much, but it seems like it shoot out straight. Well, it actually looks like it's about the same three there and down the middle. So it's really about the same. It just seems to look different. Maybe because the toe box on the, on the dunks is a little bit more rounded. Maybe that's what it is, but you know, who's to say? So quality wise, I'm really, really impressed. I really dig them. Um, can't wait to get them on feet. You have on feet here in a little while, but I can't wait to get them on feet. So I'm going to close up here, but I just wanted to get this quick unboxing and review of the Air Jordan. I'm not about to say Air Jordan. Look, so many Air Jordans, <laughs> but of the Nike Dunk High SP Michigan. So tell me what you think. So with that being said, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. Also, please like, comment, and share on the videos. It go a long way to help the channel grow. And um, just stick with your boy. So with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. And as always, love, peace, and prosperity. I'm gone.